Thanks for joining us on TVC News this hour. We begin in Imo State Police Command has confirmed the kidnap of former chairman of the State Council of Traditional Ruler, Eze Ohiri. The traditional ruler was kidnapped at his palace in Odumara, Orodo, by Choli local government area, Imo State, Saturday morning. According to available information, four men heavily armed stormed the residence of the monarch with a green collar Toyota Highlander. The police public relations officer in the state, Henry Okoye, said investigation has commenced towards ensuring the rescue of the traditional ruler and possible arrest of his doctors. And joining me live is TVC News correspondent Prince Zuba, who will be giving us updates on the story. Prince, can you hear me? What uh, updates do you have for us at this time? What is happening in Imo? regards to the kidnap of the former chairman of the State Council of Traditional Ruler, Ezio Ohiri. Uh, Bimbo, Bimbo uh, I, I can confirm to you right now that uh, um, the, poli uh, the police in Imo State is, is on top from the press release uh, given by the po uh, police public relations officer in Imo State that uh, they, they are on top of the situation and they are working so hard to ensure that the former Imo State uh, Chairman of, uh, uh, of Traditional Rulers, you know, is released on hold and ensure that those who, 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 are, who, who are responsible for his kidnap, you know, are arrested, apprehended, and, uh, you know, ensure that they, they, they face the, the, the full wrath of the law. I, I can confirm currently that uh, they, they, they are, uh, you know, on, on top of the situation. The, 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 the Commissioner of Police has deployed uh, his men you know, to to, to 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 the area to ensure that uh, he, is, he is released on halt. So currently, that is the situation in in in, in Imo State. All right, uh, um, Prince. This is not the first time that we will be having such a uh, situation happen in Imo State. Now, besides the what of um, assurances coming from the police command, what are you hearing? What is the state government doing to ensure that we do not have a recurrence of such? In the state, on the part of the government, I, I can confirm to you that the uh, government is, you know, trying uh, its best to ensure that there is a safety of uh, life and property in Imo State. Uh, if you will recall that uh, since after the, the election, the governorship election in Imo State, uh, security situation in, in Imo State uh, has reduced drastically, uh, and that is why people came back in their numbers for the, you know for the youth side uh, uh, celebration uh, because of uh, improved security in Imo State. Uh, but, 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 you know, uh, definitely there are some, you know, um, some issues that, that, that you cannot rule out. Focus of security in some areas. And uh, I, I believe the government is, is not really, it's not sitting on its, uh, you know, it's not sitting on its, or it's working so hard to ensure that these, uh, you know, focus of insecurity in, in the state is addressed. And, and I believe that uh, government is also collaborating with uh, security agencies to ensure that Eze uh, Ojiri uh, uh, is released on hold. Uh, is released on hold. So everything is being done by All right. Thanks, uh, Prince Uba, correspondent there live for us from Imo State.